guys, in today's video I'm gonna show you the world's nastiest squishy ever. I really cannot believe Ew. this exists, so you need to watch it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Just click on the bell so you never miss any of my videos. A couple of days ago I bought online this squishy and as you can tell it's very different from anything we have seen before and I couldn't even believe that this actually exists, it's very disgusting but entertaining at the same time. The only thing that I don't like is that it's very expensive, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make your very own squishy using stuff you can easily find at your nearest store. Ew. Oh my god, just look! It looks like a piece of skin with pores and when you squish it, it comes poos, that's so nasty! And this also comes with extra pus so you can refill it when it's empty, oh my god no, yeah. that's so disgusting! It looks so so real, you have to make it! So in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make your own super nasty squishy with easy to find supplies. Ok, now let's begin with the super nasty squishy. For this you will need half a cup of glycerin. You can find this at any drugstore. Half a cup of water. Honestly, you can put whatever amount you would like as long as it is equal parts of the mixture. Also, we will need half a cup of gelatin powder. You can easily find this at the yellow aisle. Once the gelatin is completely absorbed by all the liquid, it should look something like this. Now we are gonna heat it on the microwave for about 45 seconds or until the mixture is completely liquid. Look, this is how mine looked after 45 seconds and as you can see, it didn't melt all the way, so I will heat it again a couple more seconds and this is how it turned it out. Now if we want it to look like a real piece of skin, we are gonna add a little bit of foundation. Now we are going to need a square or a rectangle shaped container and we are gonna put it slowly. Just be careful to not spill on the edges so it looks very clean and perfect. After this very carefully put it on the fridge overnight or until it feels kinda hard. You should tell when it's ready when you feel a silicone like consistency and this totally feels like the real one. Begin to take it off the edges so you don't break it or ruin it and then you should remove it like this. Look how awesome it turned out, it's very squishy. Now we are going to need some kind of thin straw or a tiny tube so we can make little holes all around the piece of skin we already made so we can match the other squishy. Look how the holes look, very straight. Remember the bigger the hole the more pus it will come out. Oh my god, that's so disgusting, but it's the truth, so keep that in mind so you can know what straw you should use. Ah well, now I'm gonna show you how to make the fake pause. You, We are gonna need one tablespoon of Vaseline. And then we are going to add half a tablespoon of oil. And if you want to make it look more real, add a tiny bit of gel of paint. Now we are going to need a dropper to fill the fake pores with this mixture we just made. I didn't have one so I'm just gonna clean this squishy glue tube and I will use it for that. Very 
very carefully fill it this way and now it's time to place the fake balls on each hole. and nasty it looks oh my god it's so disgusting <laughs> if you like squishes you have to make this it's perfect to make if you're bored on summer break or to make a really cool prank to your friends I really can't believe some people actually enjoy popping someone else's pimples. I couldn't do that. Leave in the comments down below if you are one of those type of people. Leave in the comments down below if you are that type of people or if you know someone who does. I really hope you guys like this video and if you did, don't forget to thumbs it up. I love you guys so so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!